everyone, I don't want to alarm everyone out there, but it seems like there's been a few different developments within the iOS 16 space, and it's actually very interesting because there's been a dropped iPod, actually, a dropped Apple device that should have probably gotten iOS 16, and I hope it does, but if it doesn't, this will truly affect a lot of different devices out there. We just got an iPhone 15 leak that's stating that USB-C could end up coming for this iPhone, and if that ends up coming out, then iOS 17, I think, is going to probably be another big update update, mostly because Apple has to factor in the USB Type-C port on the iPhone 15, and if that ends up happening, then is that also going to be a pretty big re-release of software? Is that going to be another big update? So as of right now, iOS 16, as far as we know, is going to be supported on the iPhone 7s and above, but the thing is, is that the iPod Touch 7 that also had that Apple A10 Fusion chip, that was dropped support. You know, Apple pretty much just remove that iPhone from the Apple store. Now, it very well may still be that that iPhone's getting support, you know, still. I'm pretty sure it's still going to be supported, but this doesn't really help the case of the iOS 16 coming for the iPhone 7s. Like I said, I'm pretty sure it will, but could you imagine if Apple ended up dropping support of the iPhone 7, 7 Plus, as well as the iPhone 6S, 6S Plus, and iPhone SE? That would be one of the biggest drops of support from any software version going from one version to the other. I think the last time something like this probably happened was probably with iOS 11, maybe iOS 9, but iOS 11, where Apple, sorry, iOS 12, where Apple dropped support, where Apple dropped support for the iPhone 6, 6 Plus, and the iPhone 5S, but those were kind of understandable. So that's going to be very interesting if that actually ends up being the case in this specific example. However, as of right now, this does kind of, like I said, you know, kind of puts a wrench in certain things because another thing I've heard, and I don't know if this is 100% going to be the case, but we've been hearing a lot of reports that basically the next iPhones are going to have the Apple A16 chip on the you know Pro ones, but they're still going to have a year old chipset on the you know older ones or for the cheaper ones. So for the iPhone 14 base model, that's going to have a separate cheaper chipset than the you know top tier Pro models. But there's been kind of a report, you know, one from Mac rumors especially, stating that if Apple wanted to, they could actually drop support of iPhones that had less than or the same 2 gigabytes of RAM or less than those amount of RAM in that specific offering. Now the iPhone 7 Plus has 3 gigabytes of RAM and the iPhone 7 has 2 gigabytes of RAM. Now there's a little bit of an issue here with that theory, mostly because the iPhone 8 has 2 gigabytes of RAM. So because of that, and most people forget about that, the 8 Plus has, you know, 3 and the iPhone 10 has 3. So because of that, I don't necessarily think Apple would drop support of the iPhone 7 and the iPhone 8, as well as the iPhone Success series, that really just doesn't make too much sense to me. So because of that, I could totally see Apple removing the Success lineup. I'm probably 80% sure the iPhone 7 is still going to be supported, as well as the 7 Plus. But there's no way they're going to drop support of iPhones with less than three gigabytes of RAM because the iPhone 8 is still 100% going to be supported. So that pretty much covers it up. I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly, than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.